What's up guys, Atlas here. So I thought I would give you guys an update on the truck situation. So I'm not gonna call out the dealership I went to because one, I don't think it's totally their fault. And two, I don't like calling people out on stuff, but don't go try and buy an F-150 Lightning. I'm just telling you right now, you might as well wait. Uh, I had decided that instead of waiting on the Cybertruck that I was gonna get an F-150 Lightning. And I happened to go on the lot and they happened to have one available. And to give you a story, so I had an F-150 Lariat many, many years ago. The only reason I was able to afford that truck was because it was a program truck. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, please say so in the comments below, but a program truck is basically one that someone's been driving at the dealership, right? They sell it as a new vehicle, but they can't charge you sticker price for it because it's not new. It's got mileage on it, usually a lot of mileage, like three or 4,000 miles. So I just happened to be on the lot <clears throat> the same day that they decided that they're going to put their program Lightning that they've been using for demos and stuff up for sale. So I thought, okay, awesome. I might actually be able to afford this thing, right? Because one, I've got a Tesla. I'll trade that in. They'll give me a discount off the sticker because it's a program truck. It's got, you know, 3,000 and change on it. I don't remember the exact mileage, but I was like, all right, cool. They loan it to me. <clears throat> I drive it for a day or two. I love it. I decide, yes, I want to go back to Ford. I'm going to trade my Tesla in. I think the truck's great. But when it comes down to dealing with the sticker price, they tell me they're not going to discount it, that they're going to sell it at MSRP. And I tried to explain to them that, you know, you can't do that. This is a used vehicle. You can't sell it at MSRP. And they're like, well, yeah, we can because, you know, technically we could sell it for about 10 grand over MSRP, but we're sticking because, because we're so awesome. We're sticking with MSRP. So, you know, I get it, right? The truck is hugely popular. They will probably find somebody that will buy that truck, no matter what mileage is on it, for sticker price. And more power to them. I can't. My wife and I, when we went in, we had a certain budget in mind. We knew we couldn't afford over a certain amount a, month, amount a month on a loan payment. So we stuck with that and we walked away. Uh, one of the other things that I found surprising is they really lowballed me on my Tesla. Uh, <clears throat> if I go to Kelly Blue Book, my Tesla should sell to a person thirty two to 37000 And so I understood that might not get that full value out of the dealer, but they lowballed it at like 22, 27, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, 27, right? And then they started telling me about how, well, that's because we called around to all these wholesalers. I'm like, well, what does that have to do with anything, right? You're, you're, you're thinking about how you're going to sell it to another person, not a wholesaler. Uh, so I couldn't get out of the Tesla, uh, for less than what I owed on it. And that was going to add to the price. Uh, and it ended up being just horribly too expensive. I just couldn't do it. Uh, and that combined with the fact that Ford had set prices when they launched the F-150 Lightning and Ford themselves are saying that they're going to go up on the pricing. It's almost like they've built a good truck. They know people want electric and they're going to try to milk people for it. So if I were you, Lightning's a great truck, I'd wait.